as an African American, uh, just recognizing and appreciating uh, the struggle for um, for equality, freedom, and really uh, recognizing the, the true pioneers and what they sacrifice uh, to get us to where we are today. You know, you take pioneers such as Martin Luther King. Uh, you know, I still get chills up and down my spine sometimes when I think about that speech. You know, I have a dream. You know, you think about Rosa Parks, uh, who was just so tired and just couldn't take it anymore about some of the inequalities that were going on in Montgomery. And, and uh, by her decision not to give up her seat, started a boycott that changed the way um, African Americans were seen in, uh, in Montgomery. Think back on, uh, on uh, James Meredith, who uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, you know, young kids don't even know, who was the first African American uh, a student to enroll at uh, the University of Mississippi. And I think about the, the two students who uh, uh, in, had to enroll in uh, Alabama when uh, uh, the governor of the state, George Wallace, stood in front of the, uh, the door trying to bar them from going. So, um, you know, there, there's a lot of pioneers that I think the fact that we have a, uh, a Black History Month, that it still remains fresh in our minds that some of these, uh, that these things happened. You know, this is history and, and it's not that long ago that things were, were so different. It was on a whim. Uh, there was pressure from Congress to uh, uh, institute a, a group of, of, of black airmen, and their thought was, well, they're not smart enough to, to be pilots, so we'll organize this whole thing, and uh, the standards are gonna be so high, there's gonna be nobody that's gonna qualify. And in fact, what happened was there was hundreds of, uh, of black airmen that qualified, so they had to go through with it. So what they did was they picked an area that had a, uh, uh, an airfield and it just so happened to be Tuskegee, Alabama. Uh, it just so happened, that's where I was born. My, my parents were from Tuskegee uh, and uh, uh, just so happened that the, the airfield was there and that's where the first black pilots were, were trained. And all the missions that they flew, they never lost uh, one bomber. And uh, when you look back on that, that's, a, that's a absolutely amazing, amazing fact. And, uh, you know, a lot of times since they didn't take off from the same airfield, that uh, a lot of times uh, the bomber pilots who are mostly white, uh, who are all white, uh, didn't know who was protecting them. All they knew was they had the insignia of the red tails, which were the uh, statement of the 99th and the uh, 332nd. Uh, and they had the red tails on the back of their, their airplane, and that's how they knew that uh, the Tuskegee Airmen were protecting them. He had the, uh, uh, actually the very first mission that was ever flown by a black fighter. And uh, he uh, uh, holds the distinction of being the first black man to ever drop a bomb on the enemy. And that was in Africa uh, when they were fighting the Germans. It's something to really be proud of. There's a lot of people that need to be recognized and the fact that we have uh, Black History Month, uh, hopefully uh, that some of the younger generation of African Americans will delve into some of this history. This history was not that long ago. And a lot of these, these young kids, I hope that they realize that they're in the position that they're in today because of the sacrifice of uh, many, many before them. And uh, I hope they embrace that, uh, that feeling, you know, and uh, uh, I hope they really value the kind of education that they're getting. It's, it's not about what's been done to you, but it's where you take this forward. And if there's anything I try to do with young student athletes that I deal with is to kind of give that same kind of uh, motivation to them that, you know what, don't always be the victim. It's, it's very easy to be the victim, but recognize where you came from. You are capable of moving forward and doing something great with your life.